Giovanni Colazione, 47, is one of about 6 million people with obesity in Italy a country known for its healthy, olive oil-based, vegetable-heavy Mediterranean diet. Italy's incidence of obesity is indeed relatively low, at 10%, compared with the United States, whose rate of 38% is the world's highest. But its rate of childhood obesity is worrisomely high, more than 30% and growing. And 45% of Italy's population is overweight, which, some experts warn, could signal an impending rise of adult obesity, as well. Some people have decided to live in a safety shell that make them feel at ease, he told Landy, because the outside is hostile and rejecting of them. And when you're obese, people around you are the most important thing. Slideshow, Globesity, documenting an epidemic worldwide, there are now more than 700 million obese people, and 108 million of them are children, according to a recent study published in the New England Journal of Medicine. The research also found that the prevalence of obesity has doubled in 73 countries since 1980, contributing to 4 million premature deaths. And for the first time in human history, according to a 2016 study published by the Lancet Medical Journal, there are more obese people than underweight people in the world. To illustrate the growing globesity crisis, Landy has attempted to illustrate the fallout in three countries, Italy, South Africa and Mexico, all in distinctly different positions regarding weight gain. Italy has its high childhood obesity rate, 35%, South Africa struggles with a high adult female obesity rate, 42%, and Mexico has one of the highest overall obesity rates in the world, nearly 30%, putting it just behind the US, Saudi Arabia, and Egypt, although it has at times been in the top spot. In general, the change in physical activity cannot account for the increase of prevalence of obesity, Dr. Ashkin Afshin, assistant professor at the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation at the University of Washington, told News Pulse News. It's excessive calorie intake and that the intake of unhealthy food has increased. Afshin was lead author of the June 2017 study published in the New England Journal of Medicine that found more than 10% of the world's population to be obese. While the purpose of that study was not to parse the reasons behind the rise, the authors did note that changes in the food environment and food systems are probably major drivers. Increased availability, accessibility and affordability of energy-dense foods, along with intense marketing of such foods, could explain excess energy intake and weight gain among different populations. Afshin also warned that looking strictly at rates of obesity, defined as a body mass index of 30 or higher, rather than rates of people who are overweight, defined as a BMI between